Now, one of the things that's happened through this Occupy phenomena that none of us have ever seen, we didn't see it coming, okay? And we don't know where it's going, and that is the beauty of it. Now, one of the things I learned when I was 12 years old <clears throat> is that anger and frustration and rage can get people out in a demonstration. The thing that keeps us out though, the thing that keeps us going is vision. Is our vision of a society. And what we have to do, what you're doing right now in your general assemblies and in other ways of communicating with each other, what we have to do is start asking and answering a very pivotal question. And that question is very simple. What is the nature of the society that we want to live, leave to our children and grandchildren? With all the flowers Long time passing Where have all the flowers gone? Long time ago Where have all the flowers gone? Gone to young girls, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? Where have all the young girls gone? Long time passing. Where have all the young girls gone? Long time ago. Where have all say negative things, to discount anything, to destroy anything. You just take one bullet and you shoot somebody and they're dead. It's real easy. To make something grow it takes a whole lot of different things, okay? So they are discounting everything that isn't what they want, what they believe, and that might even be scary because it's growing and getting a lot of publicity. And so they, the more, the better if this bigger gets, the more they have to discount it and put it away. Try to put it away. They can't put it away. Because I think it's easier to portray them as not part of the mainstream because to be because if they get honest then they got to be honest with the American people that it's the corporate welfare that has destroyed this country. You know, corporate welfare in exchange for campaign donations which has have destroyed America and destroying America as we speak. So it's just I think it's just easier to make make the movement out to be something else so we don't have to address the real problems which we don't like to do in this country. I have a feeling they're scared and that's actually a good thing because we are the 99 percent and we kind of outnumber them. What, what makes them so scared? 
because this is just the beginning of a movement that's going to get a lot larger. And American history in the past has pretty much shown that when the people do get fed up with something, whether it be racism or whatever, if enough people stand up, that a change can, can come. Unlike NPR and Obama, which I think are trying to use advertising revenue to, to stay afloat, um, I think all of them do know that if they talk in any way negative towards um, the, the, the capitalist system that we have that isn't in itself wrong, but is does need some working on. And I think if they, um, they do that, they know that those people that are loyal to them as advertisers will drop from their um, sponsoring them. And I think that's exactly why they, they choose to not cover this even more. Because they're afraid of losing advertising revenue. Yes, I believe that. Towards negative occupier because in the grand scheme of things, they don't want this to be successful. So, um, and the easy story is to just say, oh, they're a bunch of silly hippies, um, to just, you know, push them aside. So why do you think they don't want this to be successful? Because it goes against their business model. Their business model has been working fine for them. People say, oh, the system doesn't work anymore. It's never worked for the people at the bottom. It's always worked for the people at the top. And uh, what this is right now is trying to change the business model so it works for everyone. And that means that the top has to take a pay cut. And they don't want that. So that's why they don't want this to succeed.